Hey everybody, this is Derek Weaver with Get Your Disease. I'm here with one of my biggest inspirations, Mr. Paul Stamets. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, he's here to tell us a little bit about the work he's doing with the bees, and uh, I'm hoping he'll explain a little bit of the difference between using the mycelium versus the whole fruiting body in some supplements. Great. I uh, apologize for all the noise. We're at a trade show here. Um, uh, my research over the past 40 years is focused on the mushroom life cycle. Um, the mycelium is a filamentous network that permeates uh, all land masses on Earth. Mushrooms form from mycelium, and mushrooms are made from mycelium. But in order for a mushroom to form, the mycelium has to navigate through a very hostile microbial environment. A recent report came out saying there's more than a thousand species of bacteria in a single gram of soil. No way. Now there's more than a mile of, these, of mycelium also in that same amount of soil. So the mycelium is only one cell wall thick. Okay. We have five or six skin cells that protect us from the infection. Mm -hmm. So think of it. How is it possible the mycelium can navigate through a very microbial or hostile environment? Weeks, months, sometimes years later, produces a mushroom that rots in five days. Yeah. Mushrooms are very perishable. Right. So the long journey of the mycelium to reach the end of the mushroom fruit body. Mm -hmm. Fruit body. Mm -hmm. um, and so these uh, spores coming from the mushrooms are like the seeds being produced in a fruit, yeah. like, a, like a peach. Right, right, right. That attracts animals to eat it, to right. spread the pits. Okay. Well, same, similar with mushrooms, they attract animals to eat the mushrooms to spread the spores. Mm -hmm. But we have found that as the mycelium navigates through the a very competitive soil environment, it has a very active immune system above the temperature of freezing water, mm -hmm. below uh, 95 to 100 degrees. Okay. Well, that is the isotherm, the temperature climate window okay. that we live in. Right. So the mycelium's ability to defend itself gives us immune benefits. Right. The mycelium is the immune system of the mushroom. That's what that means. Right. Okay. And so our research with bees, we submit an article coming up in the next week to a, a prestigious scientific journal. Oh, wonderful. We found that the mycelial extracts can reduce the viruses uh, in bees that harm bees more than a thousand to one with one oh, treatment. Holy cow. And doubles the lifespan of bees. That's amazing. Now, the bees are the second most well-studied animal in the world. Okay. And the fact that these extracts, one drop, into a hundred drops of sugar water. Most uh -huh. beekeepers feed bees sugar water. Okay. And at one percent, we can reduce the viruses in bees more than a thousand times, doubles their lifespan from the mycelium, wow. not from the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Now bees are the second most well-studied animal in the world, uh -huh. humans being number one. They just are orally active into the stomach of the bees, uh -huh. past the digestive oh, yeah. juices and acids, past the microbiome with all the bacteria, mm -hmm. past what's called the cytochrome P P450 pathway, which all animals use to detoxify, okay. gets into the bloodstream of bees and gives them benefit. Wow. What's good for the bees literally is good for us. Of course. Right now, colony collapse threatens worldwide food biosecurity, and we have found something that's potentially paradigm shifting. My co-authors right. are two USDA virologists, uh, entomologist from Washington State University. Mm -hmm. We have uh, now generated almost $3 million in research wow. money by uh, promoting uh, the importance of uh, helping researchers uh, overcome colony collapse because our worldwide food biosecurity is at stake. Yeah. As, so. If we lose the bees, food prices go up, poverty increases, um, you know, diseases increase, lack of good nutrition, and literally, it, 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 there is a consequential domino effect that can lead to terrorism. Yeah. Because people are desperate. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, this is really important because it's much bigger than this. Yeah. And the very same extracts that reduce viruses in bees are the same extracts that we tested through the BioShield Biodefense Program. And people can Google my name, Stamets and Smallpox, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and see my TED Talks. Mm -hmm. The very same extracts that reduce viruses in bees also reduces bird flu, uh, viruses that harm pigs, swines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so I think this is a a, a discovery that's fundamental to the foundation of nature. Yeah. We are influenced by the mycelial networks that are in the ecosystem around us. Yeah. When we deforest, we move, remove the debris fields that are feeding the mycelium. And then we lose biodiversity because it's the foundation of the food web. We have monoculture, lack of biodiversity, disease vector spread, stressors increase. So the bees are literally the canary in the coal mine, but we're also that canary, one of those canaries as well. Wow. So this is a paradigm shifting discovery, and uh, it's 
Scri uh, mushrooms are nutritious. Yeah. We love mushrooms. We grow lots of mushrooms. We do extracts of mushrooms. But we found that the mycelium is so powerful. And the mycelium is literally the immune system of the mushroom. It takes years to navigate through that hostile environment before a mushroom forms. And we benefit from the immunity of the mycelium gives us benefit to our immune system as well. Makes sense. Very beautifully said. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Right. I really appreciate all you all right. do for humanity. All right, Derek. Thank you, all sir. Right. Yeah. Yeah.